So I'm out here at a job today in Camperdown for a customer who is with Optus. They've got MBN HFC connection. Now this job um, here, the customer's called me today because she had an MBN technician come out here this morning. And basically the, it's been a problem going on since December. So what's happened is they moved into the property. Um, Optus sent them out a, a, a router and they plugged the router in um, and nothing happened. Um, then they realized at some stage, the people that were living here had taken the um, HFC connection device with them. So um, they sent one out, plugged it in and nothing happened. They were getting about four megabits a second um, through the router, but they didn't realize that was just because it was failing over to the SIM card. So the customer has spoken to Optus after the tech come here this morning and he showed them uh, that a cable had been snapped and that um, nothing, you know, he couldn't do anything, so he's just left. So we've been trying to call Optus this morning and the customer here, I think it's like her 10th attempt while I've been here and basically they just keep hanging up. So it'll ring um, and then it'll get to the point where they hang up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside now. I'm going to show you uh, actually what the problem is and what's going to need to happen to get this actual problem solved. So what is happening is that they're on a bit of a busy road here and it's HFC, right? So this has been tied up here since they've moved in. Right, so the tech had come out this morning He's looked at that, apparently he didn't even have a ladder in his car, and he's just like, can't do anything, and he's left. Now, obviously that is because, so you can see here the neighbor there, HFC, um, and that's because this is a road crossing. So it's going across over to this pole here, on this side here. And uh, you can sort of see their cable what happened there. It's just hanging down. So this is a network cable and Optus, you need to send out the right crew to fix this, right? Because it's a busy road, as you can hear the cars whizzing by, you're going to need traffic control um, to block off the road and to install a new cable at the right height. Because obviously this installation was done um, at the wrong height. So a truck or something's come past and it's just taken off the MBN cable. So um, this has to go back to you. Now, this customer um, said that they, Optus had told them that it was fine to get a private tech to come out and to have a look at this. But obviously this is a network problem and this needs to be fixed by um, an MBN crew to uh, drag this cable, put a brand new cable in basically across the street here which is a busy street um, so yeah this is not the customer's uh, problem and optus had said that they will reimburse this customer for the cost of our call out so i'm making this video so they can actually get internet because they've got kids here that are studying and you know they, they need to have internet and they've got this really slow uh, 4g signal which now is not working at all so we want that switch back on so at least they've got something um, yeah it needs to get sorted off this because uh you know it's a busy street here in Camperdown, as you can see right and basically you can see where but it's snapped off okay so you know, it's not a hard one but it's just that this obviously was in at the wrong height and uh, a truck's come through and taken it out all right, so a uh, little update on this job. So we'd spent 40 minutes, um, probably even more actually, on the phone to Optus, right? So out my customer, she'd called, she'd had a, um, a direct number through, which I'd explained before, kept hanging up all the time to Optus. And uh, finally she got through and it was just like pulling hen's teeth. So what I did on the other line, I went and called Aussie Broadband. 
right, in the time while we were still waiting for Optus, and all they did in the end was said that they were going to send an email to the person at the complaints department who would some at some stage call her back. But in that time, I had called Aussie Broadband. I had explained the situation to them. They had told me that they could get this fixed for her within 48 hours. Um, and we signed her up <laughs> to Aussie while I was holding the other phone with these other people in the Philippines or wherever they were um, from Optus. And basically, we had her signed up and she's on a new plan with them. So now, as soon as this guy, whenever they call her back, she's just going to cancel her plan. And now she's gone over to Aussie. So my recommendation is if you're having dramas like this, Aussie Broadband are awesome. So I can't um, thank the guy uh, enough for helping us with this because literally I called them, got through straight away, explained the situation. Um, he was like, yep, done all his checks, said that, you know, we can get all this sorted out quick, smart, gave us an option how to get, you know, get this fixed quickly. So there you go. Um, when it comes to MBN these days, the big providers like Telstra, Optus, they no longer have any teeth because they don't own the network. MBN own the network. So what it all comes down to is customer service and pricing, right? Um, so the customer service for uh, Optus was atrocious. Um, I would have loved to video the actual phone call itself, but I wouldn't bore you through that because it was just tedious. And um, half of the time they were speaking to us in Filipino or whatever, and then the other half of the time they were speaking to us in English. You know, it's just, I don't know what the hell there was going on over there, but it's just Optus, you know, you've got to pull your finger out because I'm just going to be signing up uh, all my customers now that have these complaints. I'm just going to recommend Aussie Broadband, all right? So, um, yeah, there you go. So, uh, you know, this one's sorted now. Aussie's uh, going to do all the work on the back end to get this customer up and running with their, um, their new MBN service. And uh, that's it. All right. Sayonara. Hey, guys. It's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up, like a bridge tap, or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed. Um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and I'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.